Okay, so let's start this tutorial for Prowl. So Prowl is an application for the iOS that sends notifications to your phone. So on their website, you can see the screenshots that it has a message box that pops up on your iPhone. So let's try to make an application, .NET application that would be pushing the messages to your iPhone or iTouch. Okay, so let's start by going to the site and I have preloaded the pages here because my internet kind of is slow, slow today. So, okay, so yeah, first step you have to do is to register. So you can put in here your username or whatnot. And then after that, you have to log in, of course, and then go to the API page like so. And then you can see the documentation. The documentation is simple so this is it this is the command this is the, the documentation and first below you can see the different wrappers for the Prowl api so what we are interested here is the net application Prowl net library so you can download it from this site so this is the Prowl.net library so it runs on net 2.0 so we have to make a net 2.0 application for this and then okay so let's go to Windows 2003 so my Windows application here so first we have to create an application so okay so let's create a new project you can create a new Windows Forms application and then let's say prow send or prow test okay let's put in a simple tool text box there and a simple button so we're done with the UI and then let's go to the code okay the first thing we have to do is to create the prowl prowl objects but before that we have to add a reference to the prowl API that we have just downloaded so I have my stored in C okay so we have probably here and then of course uh, we have to edit first the framework because it's uh, it's in 4.0 and we don't have to we don't have to we can compile it in 4.0 books to prowl frame prowl library sorry <laughs> runs on 2.0 so you have to delete this so one prerequisite here is to include the dot net system dot system dot uh, I forgot the name it's configuration okay so here we go Okay, so I have finished the code here. So the first thing that we have to do is to declare the Prowl objects. The Prowl client is the one that sends the Prowl message to the server. The client configuration is where we put in the URL and the configuration that will make us able to access the Prowl server. And then we have the Prowl notification, which is a struct that contains the message we would send. So first we have to instantiate the config and then as you can see here these are the three important important properties that this struct this struct would have so first we will get the API keychain so we'll go to the to the prowl API so in here we have to go to the API page so the API keys and then generate one so you can generate anything and put in a note here. So for me, I placed a .NET testing and this is the key I have. So let's go ahead and copy it. All right, copy. And then paste it on the property of this, of the config. So let's paste it and then there I have it. And then put in an, any application name you have, so you place your my.net app. And then this is the base URL, as you can see from the site. 
So this side, in the crawl API, uh, all of the commands are sent here. So this is the, the URL of the server would send to, and of course. Okay, then this is the try catch method or where, where we first would validate the API key if it's valid. So this will throw exceptions if it's not valid and whatnot, and then you can show a message block there, and then cut the cut the operation. And then if all goes well with the validation, we can put in the code for calling the prowl. So first we have to instantiate the prowl and then pass the config and then we instantiate the prowl message which is the prowl notification struct so and then put in the description this is the one you would type on the text box and then maybe a notification any anything maybe you can put in a mail has received or whatnot and then, and then put it as hi or something you can put it any any priority here but let's say it's high priority and then under try catch block here so we have the try catch block here which calls the post notification in the prowl client client object and then pass the message there and then it will connect to the server and then if there's an error of course you can just show it and then return now for that you can show it as message text Oops, I closed it okay so let's run it anyway so Let's run and then here's our form and then let's put in the text there and then click the prowlet button so it will connect to the server but i think my internet connection is not good look it's zero bytes but anyway let's wait for it so oh there it's sent okay so i think it's done so let's check it on the phone then we go to the app store and then download the Prowl Growl client to the iPhone or your iTouch. It costs a little over two piece chicken on its KFC, so I think you should try it. And then when you open the app, it will ask for the login. You can use the login we have created earlier. And then on your right pane, you will see this the start. When it starts, it will have no messages, of course. Then as you see here, I can't really record movies my, while I'm using the phone because I only have one camera. On the left, you can see the alert that will appear, or that has appeared. When we sent the message, we got that application, and then on the right, when you open the Growl app, you'll see the list that you have received. So, that's it.